Game two of the NLDS between the Dodgers and Padres was full of athleticism, full of good baseball, and full of petty drama. Let's take a look. In the sixth inning, Machado takes Kershaw deep. They were teammates once. How about that? Kind of forget. He Tim Anderson throws the bat. Let's fucking go. Jump to the seventh inning. It's a one-run game. Treenan hits Grisham. Dave Roberts says, can't have that. You're out. They bring in Brewstar. He prays to the home run god, says, please do not hurt me. Then he throws a casual 100-mile-per-hour pitch with run. Look at this windup that gets it done. He's not even trying. He's not even trying. How does he do that? How does he throw 100 miles per hour like that? Look at this pitch. That's crazy. That's insane. I don't even get it. He follows that pitch up with 99 outside, (laughs) comes in, and Tatis takes it so deep in the deepest of outfields in MLB, and then Bellinger fucking robs it. I mean, before we get into the drama, can we we look at the three-player athleticism here? We have a dude throwing casual 99 with arm side run. We have a shortstop, young dude, in the league saying, cool, athleticism, meet my athleticism. I'll just poke that to dead center out in 80% of ballparks. And then we have Bellinger, who's not an everyday center fielder. Roy Kidd is so athletic he can do it out there that he runs and reels it in. I mean, that would have been a go-ahead home run. The athleticism on display is crazy. This was worthy of a breakdown even if we didn't get the drama that we're about to get. And... This little celebration lacks a lot of athleticism. They try to chest bump. Bellinger flips into him. Taylor doesn't flip at all. I love that when Bellinger robs this, he celebrates. He throws the finger up, starting to throw the number one up before his feet even touch the ground. (laughs) Because I think he had it the whole way. I think he had that into his glove the whole way. Let's fucking go, baby. Runs in. Brewstar has a crazy reaction to this. He throws his glove to the dugout, throws his hat to never seen. I never really seen this. The screaming, the vomitos. I don't know what he's saying. Uh, double, double number one, and then a boom to the sky. And thank you, home run gods. Thank you. I'm glad I asked you to help me out. And then he hears some chirping. So he turns around. He's like, What am I hearing? Who's yelling? And it's Manny Machado saying, Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, okay. Cool. Bye. Love you. Until then. Bye. See you then. <laughs> and then Muncie jumps out and he goes, hey, fuck out of here, bitch. Go back to your fucking dugout. Get the fuck out of here. Go. 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 And Bellinger just sitting on the dugout, like, reflecting on it, like, yeah, that was pretty cool. That was fucking, I mean, oh, my God, I can't believe I fucking did that. And then, you know, Machado said, I'll be waiting for you. Well, here he is. Bruce Starr's pitching. Machado's hitting. You were waiting, Manny. Here we go. First pitch, slider outside. Second pitch, up the middle, nutbags him. Maybe he was just trying to hit him. Maybe he was more focused on hitting Bruce Starr than hitting a homer. Because he, he he twisted him up. I think Bruce Starr's fine with it. I think he's totally cool with it. Baseball's the best. If you disagree, you disagree. But it's the best. <laughs>